what's going on guys here we are going to take a look at even or decomposition here we have the signal provided that is x of t the question is asking consider the x of t this is our provided signal and the question is asking sketch the even and odd components of the signal there are two generic equations we have to know in order to do this for even for, let's uh, do the even first for even we have an equation this one this one is generic equation that is x e e for even x e of t is given by x of t plus x negative t x of negative t divided by 2 this is for even the only difference between even and odd is instead of plus we will have minus when we deal with odd okay now let's go ahead and do the even first uh, let's finish the even first and then we can look at what x of t is provided already so we don't have to worry about that now x of negative t is just the flip flip mean it's just rotate to the other side now let's go ahead and draw that now let's draw this one right here okay we are going to have the exact same three same graph flip to the other side okay let me erase this part and draw this one a little bit here okay now you can see it's starting from 2 it means if we flip this one it's going to go to negative 2 so we are going to have that one over negative 2 here negative 2 and then it goes to 0 here also it goes to 0 and uh, negative 1 it goes down and go to 0 and after that here we have goes up to negative 1 so it means it goes up to positive 1 here positive 1 and then it goes on now let's go ahead and put all the values for this first we have 2 here it's negative 2 negative 2 and this one become negative 1 here 0 remains the same and this negative 1 becomes 1 here that is the flip now we are going to add this one and this one together and see what's going to happen first uh, negative let's look at the interval between negative 2 to negative 1 for this one we don't have anything anything between negative 2 and negative 1 he, in this area we don't have anything but for this one negative 2 neg negative 1 we have a rectangular pattern so when we add these two this only rectangular pattern remains but uh, we are we are dividing the whole thing by 2 as well he, here we are dividing everything by 2 so this uh, thing will become half of this like uh, the height is 1 right now when we add these two together like uh, this height is we are looking at negative 2 to negative 1 for this one we have a rectangular here we don't have anything the height here is 1 if we add these two together and divide this is going to become half now let's go ahead and draw the new graph okay here we go I create a new graph in this graph from negative 2 we are looking at negative 2 to negative 1 negative 2 to negative 1 negative 2 to negative 1 for this graph we don't have anything x of t original graph we don't have anything for the reverse x of negative t we have a rectangular pattern that will be remaining but that's going to be half of what we have shown before okay now let's look at the value. this is negative 2 to negative 1 and here 1 this is 0 0.5 okay now let's look at the interval between negative 1 and 0 negative 1 and 0 here we have a triangular pattern goes up to the height 1 and here we have a rectangular pattern that is height is 1 so when we add what's going to happen happen is this triangular pattern goes up and uh, since already we have a rectangular that goes in the bottom we have this much rectangular size and then a triangle goes furthermore and goes down 
the reason the height is height should be two you can see this height is one this height is one so when we add these two together it's two but it becomes one because we dividing the whole thing by two so the height still become one okay now the rectangle here and the height um, height by one the this uh, this triangular pattern height by one because of this rectangular plus this this uh, triangular and then we divide by two so everything become half now let's look at the interval between zero and one zero and one we have a rectangular pattern in this one and here we have a triangular pattern again exactly the same thing like this before the only difference is here we have this uh, ram going up uh, here it went down so here also what's going to happen is goes up and then goes down here the reason here also it's one because this height is one this height is one so when we add two divided by two it's going to become one again now if you look at the interval between one and two for one and two we don't have anything here we have nothing here but here we have something a rectangular pattern here the height is one but when we divide this one by two it's going to become half so 0 0.5 height rectangular will be here and then it keeps going on that's the pattern that's the graph for e1 function this happens when we add this uh, x of t and x of negative t together when we add x of t and x of negative t together and divide by 2 this is the graph we will get now let's look at the odd function to do that i need some space so i get rid of the whole thing okay let's continue here here uh, we are going to see the odd function the only difference between equation of the even function and odd function is x of t is o for odd and then as we've seen before in the even function we have we had x of t plus x of negative t here we are going to have x of t minus x of negative t that's the only difference and this one also divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and draw the graph. I should have kept the reverse graph. I draw a rough reverse x because for this one also we need the negativity. I erase that one but I'm going to roughly draw that one right here. We just flip this graph. This is x of t. We just flip this graph to the other side. So this will become like this and uh, goes up like this this is ne negative 2 this one is negative 1 0 this one is 1 here and the height is 1 and this is t and then uh, this uh, this graph is x of negative t okay this is my rough graph of x of, x of negative t now what we are going to do is we are going to subtract this is our x of t and here we have x of negative t from negative 2 to negative 1 for x of t we don't have anything but for x of negative t we have a we have a rectangular pattern goes up to height 1 but what happens is since we don't have anything this this will be like 0 and then minus this so it's going to flip to the downside so when we draw the graph it's going to be like this well let's go ahead and draw the graph here here we go so what's happened is this uh, rectangular pattern goes down because of the negative sign because x of t we don't have anything it's like a zero and then minus this ramp so it's going to go negative uh, this rectangular is going to go to negative so we are going to have a graph like this go to negative like this this is negative 2 to negative 1 and this will become 0 0.5 because we are dividing this one by 2 so this is going to negative 0 0.5 and let's see what happens between negative 1 and 0 negative 1 and 0 for this x of t we have a rectangular pattern and uh, for uh, this one we have a triangular pattern now rectangular pattern is here and then minus we have a triangular pattern 
when we do this what's going to happen is this one thing uh, this is going to direct one and uh, it's going to go down basically and then uh, since we have negative it's going to climb up so from here it's going to climb up because of the negative sign because here it's going down this one minus this so it goes to the opposite side and the height still 0 0.5 because this is one this is one so we have two units and then divided by two since we have it starting from here that's why we have to we we will get 0 0.5 here because this one minus so we will have the half of the amount that's 0 0.5 and then again let's look at the interval between 0 and 1 0 and 1 we here we have a triangular pattern going up and here we have a rectangular pattern triangular pattern minus rectangular pattern so it's pushed one unit down so it's going to go in this direction it didn't change the the if you look at this one for the previous one we have this sign changed this one like uh, gone down gone up it changed the direction but the reason is we deducted x of t x of t don't have any triangular in the first one and we put minus like this let's think like this zero let's uh, neglect this one for now minus rectangular so minus sign made it to the opposite side but for this one, when we are dealing with 0 to 1 distance, x of t has a triangle first. So triangle come first and minus this one. That's why the direction didn't change for the second one. Second one direction remains the same. Only one unit pushed down because of the negative sign. Now until this one like this. And let's look at the distance between 1 and 2. 1 and 2 we have a rectangular pattern in the x of t and for x of negative t we don't have anything so it means um, when we subtract like rectangular subtract 0 nothing's gonna happen here it went down because we are subtracting 0 minus rectangular that's why in the bottom but here rectangular come first so there's no negative sign minus 0 mean nothing but uh, the only thing that's going to happen is uh, since we are dividing by 2 it's going to become half it's going to become half like 0 it's going to go up to 0 0.5 and then it keeps going on this is the odd function okay this is the odd, odd graph for the, uh, the given signal i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video